my name is Jack and I'm going to teach you how the coronavirus works. So this is you with your lungs and if you breathe it and then you this is a closer image and a closer image and then there's the different branches that go into your lungs like so this connects to your lungs and then there's more branches connecting to different parts of your lungs and then if you zoom into one of those branches you have these cells and then on these cells are these little hairs but they're going to get in the way later so we won't talk about them right now and there's these nuclei and nuclei are just the middle of something not just atoms so you have the nucleus and then inside the cell there's the rna and the mrna stuff and you have the dna inside the nucleus and these little stuff are all around it and now and so this is a close-up image of the nucleus so the rna goes through there and it's the mRNA or messenger RNA. And the messenger RNA goes into the ribosome, which is something that creates things for your body. And these there's these little clover things with amino acids on them. And each of the ribosomes have a little clover thing with the, all the amino acids. And it makes a bunch of amino acids to make new parts because when there's a bunch of amino acids, it kind of starts to like collapse on itself and make a cluster of them and then it turns into a protein for your body so it can go heal itself and make new parts and grow so then the coronavirus so if you breathe in the coronavirus it goes through there into your lungs or goes through here this tube and then through here again into one of the branches through here and this is in, and it gets next to one of these cells, but it's not like just with your lungs because it could be with some other cells, but we're just using lungs in this example. So the coronavirus is a lot smaller than the human cell. And remember, this is a lung cell. So the coronavirus is at the human cell. And then there's these little ACE receptors on the human cell. And the coronavirus with these spike proteins all around it, it grabs on to the ACE receptors and it looks like the cell is eating coronavirus or like the cell is kind of wrapping around the coronavirus. And it the, this is a reason why the coronavirus doesn't really affect kids as much. It's because the um, kids don't have, have as much ACE receptors so if it was trying to grab onto your cells, it's not, there's not a lot to grab onto. Kind of like if you're climbing a rock wall and there's only a few little rocks that you can hold onto, it's really hard to climb up. So it's like that with the coronavirus, it doesn't have a lot to grab onto. But with adults, they have more, so the coronavirus can grab them on more. And the, it, the coronavirus gets inside of the cell. So it kind of it kind of looks like this. This cell is curling around the coronavirus, and then it's inside of it, and it busts open. Oh, and this is the coronavirus RNA. Which, and the RNA is kind of like the code, like DNA. It's kind of like the code for how to make stuff. So it the coronavirus bursts open inside the L, inside the cell. I mean, and it sends a bunch of the virus RNA to the nucleus. And it, so instead of getting the messenger RNA, the ribosome receives the virus RNA. So that's the virus RNA and not the messenger RNA. So it makes like spike proteins and other parts to make the coronavirus because the coronavirus sent a bunch, since like new code to make, to make the coronavirus again. So it keeps on making different parts to make new viruses and your body doesn't know because it thinks it's just the messenger RNA. So it's making that. And then it make and then all these parts, which are just a bunch of different parts, they come on to make a new virus and they come together. So then one virus makes two viruses to make a, four viruses, then to make eight and a bunch of viruses to get in all of your cells and make your body make a bunch of new coronaviruses 
and so it's kind of like it's trying to take over your your body and it's also doing that same thing with the world but we, uh, we have made this is just one version of the vaccine but it is um i think it was it's just and one version because i don't know all of the of the versions but this is one of the versions so the rna it has a bunch of code and the code to make the coronavirus rna so that's the code that when it busts open it sends and the ribosomes make the different parts and these scientists in a lab made the code but just to make the spike proteins so only the spike protein rna which is like the code into and they put it in the vaccine and then when they inject the vac when they give you the vaccine um the spike proteins it's the spike protein rna only that your um, body makes so then it learns how to fight off because like it can't really fight off the coronavirus because it's happening so fast and it's hard to fight off and so it makes only the spike proteins because the spike proteins can't do anything without any with if they're just there and floating around so then your body learns how to deal with the spike proteins and it learns how to like deal with the coronavirus because that's part of the coronavirus and yeah that's how coronavirus works and the vaccine bye